it's just been really like really super interesting seeing cobra i can i can turn off the hud in game and discover bases more frequently than like npc landmarks oh wow and then when i'm running around ships fly over me and it's other players like like as if they were npc players yeah. it's nuts it's it's nuts and that, that's one of the biggest things I wanted to have you come on and talk about. And uh, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and, and start the podcast right there. Right okay. there. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show. Bruce Cooper. We got Bruce Cooper joining us. And we're going to be talking about um, city planets. Uh, there's something that's been going around me and Stubborn Ninja. We're talking about building a city planet uh, in No Man's Sky where... Uh, mo- most of the communities for all the galactic hubs, everybody's going to get involved, get together, and try and build one giant city planet to see how much it would take to literally break that planet. <laughs> so yeah. um, that's what we're going to be talking about. Bruce Cooper is a streamer over on Twitch, uh, and I will get his link and put it down below in the description. Um, but uh, He's got, uh, you know, the Cult of the Atlas. I think it's got maybe like a hundred uh, bases on it. Maybe more. I don't know. There's one planet that when you're in space, if you look towards the planet, I believe it's the planet that was named Bolari 5. And if you look at that planet, you can't see it because right. there's just nothing but base icon markers all over. And you can't even tell there's a planet there. Um, and so far, we haven't broke the game yet. And it, which leads me to believe, like, how, how much would it take if we just did this on one planet? Like, where the bases are spread on, like, a different, di- di- a bunch of different planets in that system. What if we took that energy and put it onto one planet? And that's what I want to start working on. And I wanted to group up with you and talk to you, see if you want to get involved in this and uh, talk a little bit about your Twitch and uh, all, all kinds of other stuff. And also, um, you yourself have uh, 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 a star system that's got you said 200 bases on it and uh i how is i want to talk to you about that how you got that all set up and uh, uh how is the game working for you yeah um as far well, as crashing all, think, and things like that yeah yeah we've done some uh there's some there's some pretty interesting stuff going on um but yeah i want to i want to say thanks obviously for having me here this is really really cool um yeah so thank you oh Uh, it's a pleasure dude yeah um so some interesting what what ended up happening was i was streaming um i I stream full-time as we talked about and uh somebody gave me the original person who found this planet i think his name is in in tarot bang um he discovered this planet and somehow it slid like on my desk right it, or whatever it, somebody was like oh you should go check this place out and so i went and checked it out and then some people in twitch chat were like i want to go there too so they joined the you know they added me on steam and we went there and there were about 11 people including myself and um i tried this before with next and we obviously got two players and then like four orbs right mm-hmm. and this time we were able to get 12 people in a photo and it was like this for me it was everything right like I, that, everything that i was excited for next be, with being able to play with you know people outside of my group uh it was slightly disappointing for me in next this is it's like a dream come true you know so being able to see 12 people in one photo on a planet was a huge deal for me so of course put, yeah yeah it was great you know and um, I posted it on Twitter, and I posted it on Reddit. Well, Sean Murray retweeted it on Twitter, and it hit the front page of No Man's Sky Reddit that same night. So it was like a perfect storm in one night. And uh, I woke up to nearly, I think it was like 5,500-something 5, notifications on my phone of people wanting to go to the planet or just, you know, there were probably 300 messages of people wanting to go so i i for from five o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night for three days we just like shuttled people to the planet i think we got little i think we're at like 600 500 something people there that have been there now 
and a couple hundred bases on it's uh, Halcyon 2 is the is the planet and the system is Adventus so we got about 200 bases on Halcyon 2 and um, you can't explore the planet like if I turn HUD off so I don't see any markers right somebody actually Maddie in our community made a um, made a mod that makes the HUD marker or makes the base markers like really tiny little diamonds you should check it out hmm. uh, so it's much easier to see you're not like in, like there's not tons of icons everywhere now so you're playing on PC yeah I'm on okay. PC okay. but we have we have it on PS4 and Xbox as well P- people discovered it on both platforms I think Xbox is up and running but they did find it on PS4 um, Jonas actually and you're in basic maths they were able to find it on ps4 and they've been shuttling people into the ps4 planet as well um so yeah yeah the 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 planet's kind of it's exploded it's it's insane there's always i never experienced anything like that what i will say in terms of like what we've experienced um hello games has stated that you can see 32 players on a planet we have yet to be able to make that happen. We were able to get 26 okay. in one area at a time before people started crashing or falling through the planet. Or, oh no! Yeah, or their their player their like character models were all white, like they weren't showing up in any color, uh, or people were being thrown into different instances, which is so very they were all white. So you, were they white like some kind of Jedi spirit? Like did they I don't have know. a shape? They were like, it looked like they were made of clay. There was no color to their character model at all. It was just entirely white. Okay. Like they weren't loading, the colors weren't loading in. Um, So I don't know if it's one of those things where if under absolutely perfect circumstances on a planet with no structures, you could see 32 other players. Or if it's just, you know... I imagine we are stress testing this kind of over maybe what they expected. I I don't know. You know, it's it's it was very interesting though because people started instancing. So or instancing, in, they started showing up in other instances where they would be like in the same location but not in my game, which was very weird. Um, yeah, and we've tried it twice to try to get thirty two people in one area. And it just doesn't seem to work right now. Without, well, you know, like, that's a good thing that you're doing that because there's a lot of bugs right now with No Man's Sky, and they fixed a lot of those bugs. Yeah, and that could be, you know, because communities like yours or mine or another uh, streamer who can, you know, get something like that together to get something like where 32 people can try and populate a planet, um, is 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 rare. You know, to, right, right. So a test like that. Hello Games wouldn't know that there's a bug, really, unless you know we overloaded that system, unless we tested that system. So this is yeah. good that you're doing something like this. Have you sent any uh, any of these bugs to the Zendesk? Oh yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. it's it's been well, it's as do- as documented and um, sent off as I possibly can. Okay, it's it's just it's super interesting, like. Uh, we both times one time we tried it in a different system and that worked better but if you go to like halcyon where all the bases are the base icons start disappearing after a certain number of people join so like the space station icon just disappears once over 20 people are are in the system um little weird things like my ship icon. So I, I wandered 20 mile, twenty minutes away from my ship one day and a bunch of people joined the server and I couldn't find my ship. And I couldn't call it either. It was just gone. Um, hmm. It's, it's yeah, there's some sort of, there's some weird stress tests that, uh, you know, I think we're kind of privileged to get to do. Right, right, exactly. But in terms of like a community planet, I think... I think it would be, or like a city planet, I think it would be super interesting to do it on like a small moon. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're thinking. Yeah, that something that doesn't have a whole lot of procedural generation happening, you know. Yeah. I think it would also be really neat to, uh, to, to do something where maybe we 
could get a group of people to to build it you know like have bases have other people add on to bases and then kind of maybe i don't know like lock everything down and then show it to then start inviting you know telling people where it is um i i because there's you know like uh glitch building will will destroy the performance um things like reflective glass will kill the performance uh tray manipulation will just destroy the performance it's almost like you have to stick to uh the the wood. the large structures almost <laughs> just use wood everybody just, use just wood. yeah exactly it's um it's interesting and what's really interesting is like this is the furthest thing from what i originally started playing no man's sky for you know i know i it's like i <clears throat> i fell in love with the game with uh, for this idea that i may run into somebody and it'll be like this really exciting moment that you know back in 2016 where you know what i mean like this idea that you it i played it to to be alone it's like when i was thinking about no man's sky back in uh back then and there was you know talk of uh, being able to run into other players one of the things that i thought was so cool is this is the uh, it's a place it's the same place for everybody and that there's a possibility that you know that we could run into each other. We're all out there in that universe. Yeah, exactly. And what are the chances of you running into somebody along your journey, along exploring? That was the biggest goosebump that I had with this game. Oh it's, man, hundred percent. And I do like the multiplayer and stuff like that that's been added. I think it's really cool. But I, I like the the idea of people being a feature of exploration more yeah it's, it's nice to have hey let's all get together in the game don't get me wrong i utilize that i love it i'm glad it's there but i just also would like to uh, to find people uh the hard way I i'll think tell that, you i don't mean to interrupt you i i have this written down and i'm on this platform and i just have to get this out the biggest piece of feedback that i've gotten from the entire community that i have over on my side playing this game is the the things that okay so you know the base markers mm -hmm. take those out player names take them out if you want to find a player's base have it be an advisor add-on like uh when you find bones right mm -hmm. like Throw your visor up and go, oh, like that's a base. Mark it then and then go explore the base. Right. This idea, I think the biggest thing that in, when you say like exploration, like like finding people the hard way, I think there's something that that's not just you or a small group of people. That's a, a large group of people want that. Like this idea of you can get a planet with a ton of people on it and still have it be exciting to run into somebody mm -hmm. like you would in I know, are you familiar with the game daisy or oh yeah love daisy yeah daisy right like imagine if it was uh, uh, if you had the option to discover people that way I, I mean i guess you can play it hudless like that's i've been falling in love with hudless gameplay recently oh, in no man's sky in no man's sky you just turn <clears> the hud <throat> off and i just explore just I just turn the HUD off and I explore this populated planet and I'll run into buildings more frequently now than I player made buildings and bases and other players about as frequently as I would in PCs on another planet. That's amazing. And that it's been, that has been so fun. You go over a hill and there's a player's base there and yet there's no indication of it there being there. There's no marker on your HUD. There's none of that. I'll just see a base or I'll see it way off on a mountain and I spend 20 minutes like wandering over to it that's no man like that's the no man's sky i wish we had a little bit more of sorry in rant i totally interrupted you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 keep talking keep talking yeah like that's that's that is what i wish and i and i hear it every day um and i think i just you know, wish <clears throat> you had a good point there because uh just before beyond was released uh sean murray was in an interview and i did a video on it where he talked about how Building was the number two thing people were doing inside No Man's Sky. <clears throat> and that uh, he's noticed that there, there's this weird thing that's happened 
instead of people landing on a planet saying, ah, no one's ever been here before but me, uh, now we are landing on planets and thinking to ourselves, has anybody been here before? And if they did, did they build something, right? So right. Our, I, I think a lot of the ways that we play, I don't think they've changed. I think there's more options now of exploration. I think finding things that people have built, maybe it's someplace that's abandoned. You know how many bases I've built and I, 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 I've I left them? I, I've never gone oh, yeah. back to them. So there's like these ghost towns or these ghost uh, bases that are still out there peppered all over the galaxy, all over Euclid, all over the other galaxies. And that, that has now created a form of exploration. Imagine being able to be a person who has a YouTube channel where you go off and you discover dead bases, old relic bases from like the olden times. Imagine what it would look like if somebody built a base with um, Atlas Rises, you know, and and, yeah. and and then compare that to what we can build now. And if you come, you, you'd immediately know, be like, that's an Atlas Rises base. Right. And to have a planet like yours or like the cult of the Atlas where you said you can turn off the HUD and just walk around and discover um, uh, things that people have built. That's amazing. You know, and we talked about how they need to focus more about exploration and things like that. I think they accidentally did. You know, that this is a beautiful accident that giving us right. a thing to build and then and then. Uh, you know, now there's something out there that is truly unique that we can go out and explore and find. Right. And, uh, you know, kind of going back when you said my planet, it's not, I, you know, I know it's not my planet, right? Like this is like not my favorite part of no man's sky is that none of this, none of the HUD planets, you know, the planet that, that your community spends a lot of, like none of those are, they don't belong to anyone. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those planets, like, are they're they're anyone can go to them and discover them and land on them. I mean, their name, you know, you name it and stuff. But like, that's my favorite part. Like, there's no, it's not like a you can't rent a server and then invite your friends to the server. You know, like Minecraft or something. It's all out there. Like somebody could could roll up on Adventus. You know, like somebody could load up No Man's Sky and five years and go to uh the planet that we've been spending you know our the community planet is our community's planet we just call it halcyon like somebody go to halcyon and like you said find 200 bases and just no story no anything just be like what all these bases what, are here <clears throat> i see what you're saying we have a game that was a cat um, and uh, you know how cats like to make things fall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's sorry. Uh, Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's just looking at the stuff that fell, to probably thinking it did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have a game that you could literally trespass. You could have trespassers. I see yeah. what you're saying. Like, you could build your base. You think you're alone, but somebody, if if you lay down a booster. Uh, 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 and and someone uh, like you're on stream or in a video, and someone catches that coordinate just in that split second. <laughs> oh, it's happened. Could, yeah, I came to my could, base, and it was it was somebody had taken their terrain manipulator and buried my base. Oh man, and oh. that's fine. Like that's it. It's annoying, but like that's the beautiful part about it. Like yeah. that's it's that's that is no man's sky. Like you can, there's no ownership, right? Like it kind of. People will say, like, you know, how do I get to your planet? Well, it's not my planet. Like, I'll show you how to go to a planet that a bunch of people are on, but it's not mine, you know? Like, it's not my server. It's not my, you know... And what's, what ends up happening, what's really interesting, is um, some people got together. They they called themselves the Halcyon Defense Force, and they came and cleaned my entire base up. They all were wearing the same, like, uniform oh, colors so cool. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and like they all had ships that were similar, and like they all came and landed on my base and cleaned it all up, and then just took off. And if you don't set any of that up, you know, like there's that's, it's all um, like just governed amongst themselves. You're kind right. of responsible for yourself. Which is the most exciting thing about No Man's Sky is that exactly. it can be whatever you want it to be. You can yeah. create these defense forces for whatever reason you need them for. 
when me and my wife, I remember one distinct moment we were sitting at the kitchen table before No Man's Sky came out, and I'm like, we we're just marveling at how awesome this idea was about you know this universe that's the same place for everybody. And I, I looked at her and I'm like, what's the game going to be like five or ten years after it's out? Are we going to have like people that are controlling sections of space? Are we going to have empires or some kind of like clans and stuff that control certain systems? Uh, is that what this game is going to come become 10 years after it's out? And lo and behold, look, that's exactly what's happening. And it's, it's yeah. wh where can you get that in a game where you have a game that's the same place for everybody and then people take it over? You know, people, not in a bad way, not, I'm not saying a bad, but, um, organize and colonize and, and, yeah. and create governments and, and de defense forces. And it's just amazing. I mean, you can never run out of things to talk about. Well, and there was a, I feel, I, I think oftentimes, like I, I think back, there was a, a very specific moment where Hello Games probably had to make the decision as to whether or not, like, players could take damage from other players and it's there was there i mean i'm sure there was arguments to me to be made on both sides right like is this game going to allow for pvp and i would love to i'd love to know the reason or i'd love to hear why they chose to make it a toggle not saying that it's a bad idea that they did that or anything like that i would just love to know because I feel like that would lay the kind of groundwork as to what they're wanting to have happen in the game. The fact that that toggles there where you can turn off like player damage, you know, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm talking about? Right, like, right, and yeah. then the fact that that's there really leads me to believe that they don't necessarily maybe want there to be these sort of, do you understand where I'm, where I'm going here? Like, I don't know what they're, if that toggle wasn't there, I feel like they would expect a more PvP sort of defense force, you know, like colonize, you know, but the fact that toggle's there, I just would like to know why the toggle's there. <laughs> well, uh, there was an interview that Sean Murray was talking about the PvP, and he said it seemed stupid not to have it. Like uh, you said, you could shoot uh, animals together, and uh, what would happen, why, you know, it's stupid that you wouldn't be able to look at your friend and shoot your friend. Yeah. Um, so the they said it, it felt right to add the PvP in the toggle to toggle that off. I believe was a um, it was something that was given to the community because people they knew people didn't wouldn't want that. Yeah, okay? I believe PvP was the design because as Sean Murray said, it felt like it needed it. It was supposed to be there, uh, and well on the other hand we better be uh better make it to where people can turn it off because they're going to want it right. some people are going to want to do that so i i think that's the only reason why it's there it's uh we like this but let's also give them this yeah it'd be interesting if like systems were pvp like if you sh if you shot somebody in in system a nothing would happen but if you shot someone in system b like you'd be swarmed by NPC ships or you'd be swarmed by sentinels or you'd be, you know, I thought that might happen in next when, remember when the, uh, the walkers were chasing, um, yeah, I believe it was an exocraft and like Sean was running and he wasn't being attacked. Right. I, I, I was curious, like what, we, it's just interesting. I feel like PVP slash like trolling go hand in hand with like the idea of community planets and, and bases unfortunately you know i wish everyone would just get along and then like you know <laughs> you could set up dog fights and stuff or you know or like you know what i mean like pvp i wish you could set it up when i say dog fights i mean ship for ship by the way right right yeah um, but that's just uh, like realistically that's not the that's not usually the case you know um yeah you get enough people in one situation in one scenario somebody's gonna somebody's going to go a little haywire, be a little hyper and do something that makes somebody else upset. Yeah, that's true. It always happens. Always happens. It's it, yeah. when, whenever you add PVP, it's always, it's like, you know, uh, I took, uh, I learned instruments in, in school, right? I learned how to right. play uh, the bass, cello, um, all that stuff. And, uh, cause I was in the orchestra, nerdy me, but, uh, no, that's cool. I love that. 
it, when we, when we were all given the instruments, all we wanted to do was play, you know, just make noise with it, you know, before yeah. we were supposed to, you know, the teacher's not ready. We're all just messing around with it. PVP is the same way. It's like, I mean, I'm holding a gun that if I shoot this guy, it's going to kill him. All right, let's do it. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's like, it's not that everybody's just a bunch of douchebags. It's just everyone's like, oh, yeah, totally, I got a gun. Totally. I want to shoot you. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. No, no, no doubt. And like, I, I hope that it hope it didn't come across that way. No, 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 it didn't. Yeah, no, it's just it's, you know, I I've been streaming for a couple of years full time and I rent servers and stuff, you know, yeah. well, I'm not playing Daisy and there's ultimately that one in 10 that guy who offline come and comes and raids your base or you know what i mean like destroys yeah. or draws a penis on something you know like there's always that person right and what's cool like in those other situations i could ban them from the server or i could you know have, have a conversation with them and ask them why they did it no man sky that's all out the window it's like you can't you cannot stop somebody from coming to your planet you can't if that's they true. turn pvp off they they're gonna still like yeah <laughs> You cannot stop them. So that's what you true. know, and that's a very it's a very interesting it's a very interesting um situation because I'll I'll just start role playing with them. I'll start you know, I'll be like, I wanna join you, like let's go mess with this person, you know, and then or uh, you know, like there's it's uh it's it's I don't know of another game like that where people can come to your planet regardless the only way around it is to turn ambient multiplayer off i guess but it's uh they can still go to your 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 place you know where you are right N if they had games. that pv if they had that pvp toggle if it was gone and it just always took damage it really would put a spin on what would happen in those sorts of situations. So you're saying that would actually improve community building and defense forces. Like people would be a heck of yeah. a lot more serious. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Would. Like if that toggle wasn't there and you had a community planet, you'd have real, police. More serious. You'd have, you'd have a whole set of defense. Mm -hmm. And I think it would improve the game it, for, for communities, you know, it would make things definitely way more interesting because it would give you incentive. It would give like if you, if a, if you're a troll or you're somebody who's going to try to go and kill someone and you kill them or you, you know, you destroy their ship or whatever. And that in, in that community planet has some sort of law enforcement or some sort of defense force then you better run you know like it'd be so cool like right before you die if they added a thing where you could put a waypoint on that person right before yeah. they killed you and then when you respond you could actually share that waypoint with other people and you could go hunt him down through the stars through the through the galaxy just one system right after another like he's this way his way his, uh, his waypoint is over here in the star system oh, we or just what if missed space it. stations space stations had like bounty hunting boards for players oh my gosh you know? yeah yeah like, yeah you like can you tell can... the name has been there right yeah and, and, it's, and that's can... it that's it just uh uh space jerk was here you know like right. uh that's all and they're like okay i'm hot on the trail 50 <laughs> pvp deaths or something you know oh my it, gosh that'd be so it, awesome that toggle changes a lot because if that toggle wasn't there multiplayer would be completely different it would yeah. be like it would it would be so much more like trust oriented and what i learned with this planet by having you know 600 people 500 600 people visiting the planet we only had one scenario of someone being a jerk one and if it, it, you know maybe that's like what if there was pvp or what if like damage was would that number go up or down? I don't know. Maybe maybe because it's a toggle, maybe people are just like, well, not worth it. The one guy who did it, though, he did it because that toggle was there and he knew he we couldn't kill him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just really opened my eyes. Like, how much different would the game be if your life was worth, if your life in the game was a lot more uh, fragile? Yeah. If everybody was, if everybody was permadeath, or the fact that you would lose everything you're carrying, 
yeah or just i mean even even if it was just the annoyance of having to spawn back at a space station if you were just getting killed over and over and over, you know you know i i don't know it's i'm very i'm very very curious as to i know we talked about it a little bit but like why that what would happen if they remove that toggle especially yeah. in situations with like city plant right I don't know. But, be, it'd be neat. I, I really hope that one day they offer like a mode where that's not even possible to yeah, toggle if it that was off. Like a, if it was like multiplayer, sl multiplayer slash, I almost hate using the word PvP, but multiplayer slash like PvP, and it was a mode like survival, where you could join it and you get you get an instance of the universe because like somebody on creative. Somebody on creative, if they go and visit another planet, like a community planet, did they see anything? If if, if that planet's, I don't know if, if the base is on that planet. With, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's changed yet. Uh, normally, yes, I do. I don't know. I don't think yeah. so. No, uh, I don't think so. Because I know they can't join your game. Right, like, right. Somebody on creative can't join a normal game. Right. Like if I'm playing normal, and if they're playing creative, they can't join my. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, that's a, that's a good. You know, there's so many things that we gotta uh, scientifically research. You know, yeah. what's changed and what what the possibilities and limits are, and and, and beyond. A lot yeah. of work to do over the next few months. Yeah, I would be. Uh, I would be definitely super interested in um, in taking over like a moon with you guys and helping. Oh, we're down. Yeah, build a city. I would be, um, and it, you know, we don't want to talk about this during the podcast, or not, but I'd be curious to see if, are, were you guys thinking that you just wanted to like open it up to everyone or did you want to just, yeah, pretty much open it up to everyone. I think we're going to try and do it on Friday, uh, oh, to okay. where, um, on during the subcast, we're not going to obviously finish it on Friday, but, uh, we're going to get it kicked off on Friday where I'm just going to go to like to a, a star system over from the call to the atlas just the next star system over to where there's no bases yet and find a moon and go ahead and uh just uh, start maybe say hey guys let's just use wood or just use uh just use the uh the metal you know just yeah don't use a whole lot of glass don't use a whole lot of uh and and for right now nobody connect any lights just no lights okay. right now let's just build the infrastructure first and then after we're done and let's be smart about it let's not let's not build it too crazy and too elaborate let's build um basic rooms pretty much rooms right. uh, that have stairs multi-layered uh let's let's build something that would be considered like a town hall uh and and then go off and to build like neighborhoods you know like these little i don't know what the possibilities are but let's build the infrastructure first then we'll go through and have electricians add in the lights, not too many lights, and we'll see how much we can go before the game just breaks. Yeah. Interesting. Are you going to... So, like, somebody will have to lay down a base marker, right? Or like yeah. a base computer. And then you'll have to make it... Whoever lays that base computer down will have to set it to where anyone can add to that base. Right. And it won't just be one base. We're going to have to lay down multiple bases. Right, right, because it's it, there's like a bubble, right? Yeah, yeah, and and you'll have to find like we'll have to find out how close they can be together, without. Yeah, interesting. That'll be uh, that'll be super interesting. It'll be a nice little project. It'll be something that, hopefully, um, if we don't crash it, it'll become like uh, one of the eighth wonders of the galaxy. You know, something yeah. that that people can come by and just check out. And that's why I really want to try and build it. I know this isn't the correct term, but as low poly as possible, you know, just yeah. four walls, a roof, and and just go on from there. And as we get that, as we get that infrastructure laid down, then we can go back in and start decorating the insides, doing the interior. Uh, but right now, what I'm hoping to see is is that when you go onto this planet, and we 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 get right on the precipice of it crashing, just and it, but if you go onto this planet, and what you see is what looks like a city but if you land of course you go inside so far there's nothing in there and then we'll start adding the things inside to see what the limitations are going to be 
yeah, it'll be. I'll be definitely curious to see what happens. I know when we did that, something's not not with that idea or anything. I think once we started getting a lot of bases, we the biggest thing that started hindering us was I don't know, like it was. It seems like because there was so much on the planet already, it's a very like lush planet. Mm-hmm. I I uh, I think that played a pretty big role like there was so much already there so uh, the idea of doing it on a moon or something dead um will probably allow you to to stretch the the limit quite a bit more yeah yeah i can't wait yeah i I can't wait i mean that's what we're uh that's what we're here for right we're gonna test the limits of uh no man's sky and and uh i mean of course if it's (laughs) if we break that star system of course, we can't send Hello Games a bug report because we're actually overloading what yeah. they intended. Uh, so this is uh, it's just an experiment. And right. what I'm hoping at the end is it becomes, like I said, the, one of the eighth wonders of the galaxy. Yeah, something cool. It'll be. Uh, yeah, that I that'll be that'll be super cool. Just uh, when you find something, throw the throw the uh, or if you is it going to be on PS4? Ye- we're gonna do both. I th- okay. I think it'd be smarter to do it on PC because I think PC might be able to handle it easier. I was gonna say we've had a lot more. I hate referring to we or you know we've this the experiments that we have been doing um, have shown that it's a lot. You get a much higher frame rate on PC. PS4 system has about I don't know. I want to say a hundred base, so half the bases and the PC planet has definitely outperformed the ps4 version really on my ps4 pro anyway hmm so yeah, yeah i don't then, know that's the probably thing. maybe we should do this in creative too that's a good idea that would be save a lot of carbon <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um and, and at the end of the day it's an experiment and if it works out then maybe we could transfer it to normal mode i don't know we'll see I'd be curious to see if you can go and visit that same moon in normal mode and see the creative buildings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be. So, yeah, and it'd be good to have you and, and, and you know, your community come on over and help oh, us yeah. build that up. It's 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 uh, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. And um, yeah, I'm more than down. I love your ideas on the toggle toggling that removing that to see what would happen. Uh, I wish hello games if you're listening please consider removing the base icons and making them something that you have to find using your visor please i would save us <laughs> it would be so nice oh i wish i wish you know like the berry technology imagine if you always saw berry technology everywhere you went it'd get annoying it's so right. much better yeah. being able to find it with your visor yeah and then tagging it and then going to it i wish bases were like that very true very true uh, for the odd uh, people, how can they find you on Twitch? What, what uh, what's Twitch, your Twitch? Twitch.tv forward slash Bruce Cooper. Um, I stream Tuesday through Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, Full time No Man's Sky. Awesome. Very awesome. And do you have plans in the future for anything else? Or is this uh, right now just uh, cruising the stars? Just cruising the stars, my friend. It's kind of my um, the last 14 months been my obsession very awesome yeah hey, uh, and i'm glad that you know that sean sky big just shout out to sean sky who introduced us to each other um really really super pumped that you that our communities have now mixed together and that uh you do come on the show from time to time and i, I absolutely love that it's a pleasure to have you on yeah man i'd love to be on more I, we, our schedules kind of overlap a little bit but it's it's a uh, it's been an absolute blast i will say that like and I said I've told you this before, so I'm sorry for this sound like a broken record. Um, Twitch, my dream someday is to give Twitch the No Man's Sky coverage that you give YouTube. So just thank you so much for that. I really look up to everything that you're doing, and it's thank been you, a bro. blast seeing seeing it all kind of happen. And um, yeah, just keep on keep on keeping on, my friend. Thanks, man. You do as well. You do as well. We'll see if we can get some more people over there. Um, again, guys, look in that description for Bruce's links. If you have any other links that you want people to know, like a Twitter or anything like that, um, I'll put that down there. And I do have your Twitter, so I'll put yeah, the Twitter just... and the Twitch um, 
Those are the best it. ways to get a hold of me. Okay. Twitter's Bruce Cooper TV. Twitch is Bruce Coop. I yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right, Bruce. It's been awesome having you on the show, bud. Great conversation, and uh, hope uh, hopefully we'll see you on the subcast sometime, buddy. Yeah, man. Anytime. If uh, I, I will do my best to be around those as much as I can. Awesome, man. Awesome. And uh, all right, man. Take have a good day, and I'll see you uh, in the stars. I guess. Yeah, man. Cool. And uh, hit me up about that planet. We'll make it happen. All right, we'll do Friday. Right. That's what. That's yeah. the plan so far. Friday, and uh, I'll get. I'll to grab a, a beer and show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Give me the court. We'll we'll get we'll get a a buttload of people over there. It'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. All right, cool, buddy. Man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Bye.